Hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 76 and I'm at my base in the Ash Heap just down here and today we're going to do the quest that sinking feeling find Scoot's shack and that is all the way over let's come out in the mire somewhere where was it I saw it before there it is all the way up there so I reckon if we fast travel down to Harper's Ferry that should do us. Here we go, Harper's Ferry. It looks like we're in the middle of a, a rad storm. Quite fun. Right, so we've got to get over there. I think we can cross the river over here. Yeah, we can cross the river there, can't we? I thought we were in a rad storm. I think it's just... <laughs> I think it's just a bit of a hazy day today. Whoops, almost. Almost went off the edge. Right, so this quest, that sinking feeling, I have no idea what it's about or how long it's going to take. I, I don't like the mine. Well, I do like the mine. I think it's a really interesting place, but it's got some horrifying enemies in here. It's got a lot of the same enemies you used to see in um, Far Harbour back in Fallout 4 days. Right, here's the shack. Let's be cautious. Let's let's get the old crossbow up. We haven't got much ammunition for it, but what's going on here? Yeah, the crossbow is one of the few weapons you can't actually make. It's quite odd. All right, let's get inside. Oh, there's the bloody door. Jesus. What's in there? Take that. Let's have a look here. Right, before I do that, let's turn off that damn radio. Personal documents. Birthday present ideas. Cleo, hopefully finding him a new home. Curly, some little kitty boots. <laughs> Diego, a new blanket. Dorothy, a different blanket from Diego's. Elma, need ideas. Mari, something special. Maybe a key shaped locket. Mitchell, jingle toy. Pabbers, imported canned tuna. Ruby, new grooming brush. I think we know where this is going. Spencer, same as Mitchell, I guess. Stride, a bell, damn it. And more of that special diet food. Okay, so he's a nut about cats. Uh, truth seekers. And was that everything? All right, okay, yeah, it was just the idea, wasn't it? A new beginning. Truth seekers meeting for August tenth, two thousand seventy-six. This meeting will be auto dictated for records. System roll call. Scott Scooty Conroy. Ray Gary. Shelby O'Rourke. Right, all right. Well, well, I'd like to start by welcoming our newest pro prospective member, Shelby O'Rourke. Shelby, hi. It's good to be here. Ray, Shelby here is writing a thesis statement for a master's program at vault U. Scott, oh well, la -di da <laughs> Shelby, right. I'm putting a specific emphasis on the study of cryptids. Scoot. Studies, pa. Okay, another one of those educated types. Great. Ray, Scoot, come on, stop being rude. Scoot, why? Isn't she just another academic like our old friend Calvin? Right, so we've read about this um, this girl when we explored vault -Tac University, didn't we? Scoot, let's... Scoot, how long before she ditches us too? Leaves us behind like, like some backwards... Scoot, this is getting... Forget it, Ray, I'm not doing this again. Have a good life, Shelby. Unintelligible clatter. Error, too quiet, unable to dictate. Ray, so Shelby, that was a... Uh, Shelby, that was a lot to process, so I think... Ray, yes, I can imagine. Shelby, work. Get back to that. Me, I mean, I'm going to leave and get back to... Yeah, I understand. Meeting adjourned. Dictation stopped. Scoot, I asked Laura to load this onto your terminal while she's feeding your cats. Please read over these meeting notes and really consider your behaviour. I can't even look Shelby in the eyes after this. She could have been a great resource for the club. Ray... Draft adoption. 
onto New Home for Cats. Hello, if you're an experienced owner with a love of cats and are, and are looking for a new companion, you can reach me at Hi cat lovers, looking for a new best friend, only accepting the most qualified of candy. Serious cat owners only, please inquire if you're looking to adopt a forget it. Back. Uh, research private. Right, that's changed the quest, hasn't it? Solve the passphrase to Scoot's research. Optional, read letter to L for clues. Enter security phrase. Ah, uh, okay. Um, well, how does this work? Let's read the letter to L. Which is down there, I presume. Hello L, thanks for watching my little fur balls. Here's some tips for handling them. Also, I'm not sure how long I'll be gone, but I've left a list of birthday gift ideas on my terminal. Keep your receipts and I'll pay you back. Good luck, thanks again, and send my regards to R. Curly, he's the short hair, he likes his food under the desk. Diego and Dolly, these two are inseparable, gloves recommended. Elmer, she is polydactyl, so she'll need her nails trimmed regularly. Next, Pabba's. She's a good kitty, but she needs her teeth brushed, though. Mary, the key to my heart, my best friend, the only one in the world I trust. She likes to nap on top of the terminal. Ruby, I hope I'll remind you to wear long pants. Strider, big but sneaky. Vet has him on a special diet. Snuggles, her name is ironic. Seriously, do not attempt to snuggle with Snuggles. Unfortunately, Snuggles will also need her teeth brushed, sorry. Cleo, I've left a grooming brush if you happen to have a chance. Mitchell and Spence, I can't actually tell the two apart. Skilled climber, so watch your head. Thanks again, Scoot. Right, let's try that again. Enter the security phrase, loading, it says. Well, CL would be Cleo, wouldn't it? I don't know, I don't get it. Oh, there we go, Cleo. Oh, crap. And that's the number of the cats, isn't it? Oh, so which one was Cleo? Oh, damn it. I've got to go back and I've got to make a list of all those cats. Damn. Oh, I'll cut around this bit. Right, let's go back in here again. Uh, and for, all right, Cleo. Let's choose her. Cleo. And she... And she was... Which one was she? She was... She was number 10. Alright, let's try 11 then. Because there are only 12 cats. So perhaps it's a number above. Let's try that. Ah, oh, I don't get this. Right, there we go. Uh, I'm really not sure how I got there. I did, hang on, let's open this. I did guess that Marie was the only cat that he trusted, so that would be her name. But I'm still not sure about those numbers. Because Marie was actually the sixth cat on the list, and I thought that was significant. But obviously not. Just had to brute force it. A little bit irritating, so there we go. Uh, right, let's look at Sheep Squatch. And if you watched my video called Exploring Welsh, we came across, well, the corpse of a guy in a wheelchair uh, in a room, and we read his terminal, and he mentioned the sheep squatch. Yeah, it was quite intriguing. All right, field research number one. Right, so location farmland near Route 63. Me and the fellas took a road trip up north a bit, heard rumours about sheep disappearing. Ray thought that maybe the sheep squatch Ray thought that maybe the, sh the sheep squatch eats sheep. I thought that was pretty dumb. Of course! The farmers found out that a neighbour had been stealing them in the night. No sheep squatch evidence. Right, note 2. Location trails out by Point Pleasant. 
Visiting member from Point Pleasant had mentioned some tracks to us out by where he lived. He said they weren't anything like where he'd seen before. I told him that maybe the Mothman had him under my control. We drove out there anyway, stopped at a creamery on the way, pretty good. No squatch to be found though. No sheep squatch evidence. Note number three, and this is land out near Watoga. Ray wasted his time. I know he just brought me out to try to calm me down. Well, screw him. Screw Cal. Screw the both of them. Cal thinks he's so ga goddamn smart. <laughs> I don't need him. No sheep squatch. No sheep. No sheep squatch. No sheep squatch. Last one. Location: hills behind Uncali Valley. I stopped off here on the way back from visiting Mum at home. I wanted to prove it to myself that this new sighting was a fake, even if Ray won't listen. Undeniable proof, my ass. It was an albino deer. Ooh, scary. I wish Cal was there so I could laugh at his, in his stupid face. <laughs> what a terrible and mighty sheep, sheep squatch. Loser. Conclusion, there is no sheep squatch. Loser van asshole. Okay, so from the, the quest thing at the top, I've got to find out where Scooch went most recently. Which was there, surely. Is there any, any more to look at? Uh, right, okay. It'll be on the map then, won't it? How many radios has he got? Right, well I've had a look on the map, but I can't actually see anything there. Let's go back in here. Spirits and ghosts. Oh, we didn't look at this, did we? Ghost field research number one. Ah, oh, okay, this will be it. Location, abandoned house in Harpers Ferry. First trip hunting, a real phenomena. This evidence... The evidence on interacting with the spirit world is undeniable. We bought an old General Atomics B7... BS7 transistor radio. Sean says it's a perfect ghost phone. Man, he was right. We got some of the craziest messages from this, this house. We kept hearing church repeated over and over again. Sean thinks that because the radio kept picking up the local religious stations, but I don't know. I just have this feeling. I need to look at some maps and consider next steps. Uh, research number two. Right, okay, this is it. Uh, Haven Church. Despite what Sean thinks, I took a drive out to Haven Church. Couldn't find anything there. When I asked around and hit the jackpot, apparently there's another old church a few miles east of there. Said there was an old accident with a sinkhole. Some people died. I knew it. Typical, no one listens to old scoot. I'll be heading out to where this old sunken church is supposed to be tomorrow. Whoa. Well, it's turning into quite a spooky Scooby-Doo adventure, isn't it? Is that some purified water? Yep. What's that? CH monthly January. Cryptid Hunter Monthly. Greetings all Cryptid Hunters, Seekers of the Truth. This month we'll be covering a very special member of Month's leg legendary beast, the Sheep Squatch. Do not snicker, dear reader. Over the years, we've amassed a plethora of evidence and convincing cases from the residents of Appalachia. That's right, our woolly friend's favourite haunt is the rolling hills and mighty peaks of the Appalachian Mountains. Even readers from across the country will remember that Appalachia has quite the reputation for being home to several cryptids already, and Sheep Squatch stands tall amongst them. Eyewitnesses re recount a massive 20-foot tall monstrosity with spiral horns and a pair of chompers. Some claim that it's able to bite through pure steel. There's also rumours that its fleece is far from white as snow. Researchers believe that its wool is razor sharp. No Sheep, squ no sheep Squatch sweaters, please. Perhaps most notoriously, though, are the rumours about its bodily waste. Let's say it's Sheep Squatch number one feature. If you don't mind the crude, crude pun, we know you don't. There are claims that the, that the Sheep Squatch's urine is so acidic that it can burn through your skin for days. There's been cases of just one drop blinding a hunter for life. Yikes. Of course, local government in Appalachia have been covering up the Sheep Squatch for years. 
We think they may have been working with a mothman to hypnotise doctors that treat urine patients. More on that in our March issue. Planning any hunts for the sheep squatch? Be sure to write in and let us know your findings. And as always, remember to stay safe and keep an open mind and seek out the truth. That's Julia H. Park. Bullshit! If you want to know the truth about the Sheep Squatch, find me, Scooch Conroy, Southern Bell Motel, walk south, look for a shack with the cats. Take that. Very interesting. Let's look on the old map. Sunken Church. Oh, here we go. It's up here somewhere. All right, near that bunker. Um, it's fast travel. Let's find this rotten church. Where's the bunker? Oh, I've got my crossbar. That's not going to be very useful, is it? Uh, furious. Black powder. Hello? Right, hang on. What's that? Glowing Mylurk? What is that? It's not Mylurk King, is it? Oh my god, it is. Crap. Right, I've got to look at my weaponry. Because I made some nuclear grenades. Where are they? There we go. Damn it, okay, let's undo those. The nuke grenades up. Plasma. Oh, I hate my hurt kings. Where, where are they? Oh, there we go. Nuclear grenade. Let's select that. Where is it? Where's it gone? How many are there? Oh, there's two of the sod. Look at them. Oh, this is horrible. Ah, oh, Bolox, right. I'm not doing this outside of power armor. Sorry. It's just be a waste of time. Absolute waste of time. I hate my luck, Kings. I hate them. There he is. Let's right past it. Get in there, quick, quick, get in there. Oh no, I'm just going to do as much damage as I can with those grenades. Where are they? Are they both together? Can't see the other one now. Ah, oh, bastard things. If it was just one of them, it would be bad enough, frankly. I want to get them both together. I'm in caution. I don't think you see me though. You might be where someone's around. I'm hidden again. There's the other one. Are they going to get together? Reload. Come on. Okay, this is no good. No, stop it. Right, stim pack, stim pack. Stim pack. Right, oh, throw that at me. Bollocks. Uh. Right, I need this sword up. Come on. Damn, stim pack. Stim pack. Stim pack. Another one. <laughs> let's just keep. Come on, let's get one of them. Wow, their health is going all over the place. Nice right, down. One more. Look at my health. Look at my health. Oh, I kept ticking down as well. Jesus. Little bastards. Little bastards. I hate you. Oh. This sword is very good, though. This electrified sword is brilliant. I mean, it's not as good as my super sledge, but... Let's take some right away. Uh, 
right away diluted. Now let's get some purified water down us. Alright, there's no more of the bastards, I hope. And you'll notice that you know, like three of those bloody grenades didn't do that much damage at all. Looks like someone's been grave robbing here. Oh, we're safe. Requires key. Um, I'm going to get out of this armour. This thing's a bit of a cheap power armour. But I always carry the suit in case I get overburdened. Nothing else in here, is there? Nothing there. Let's get furious up again. Right, let's be a bit more cautious. What the hell is that? Going my lurk. Fighting what? Oh god, that's the razor claws, I think. Ah, oh. what on earth's going on? Yeah, razor claws. Sorry, a hunter. What was the hunter fighting? Ignore him for the moment. Uh, let's get the old sword up again. If we've got ghouls in here, there might be some close order fighting going on. They look very agitated though, don't they? Don't like the look of that at all. How do we get in? There's a hole in the roof. Oh, yeah. Bastard things. Do you know, I could actually take them out from here, couldn't I? Could I? How many are there? Let's see if we can take this fella down. I don't think he even noticed me. Well, I'll do it in vats this time. Oh no, it's pretty good pretty good shot but I can't do it crouched which means I can't do it what was that noise yeah which means I can't actually get him in um, in sneak it's a pain where's the hunter let's see if we can get him yeah took some damage if we can do it up here safely, let's just finish him off. Down. Alright, okay. He's figured out what's going on. Oh, they're not very tough. You can't do anything, can you? You can't do anything. Alright, down you go. There wasn't anything else around there. Mind you, all this time I could have been shooting away. All these ghouls could have been sneaking up on me. Luckily they weren't. Get the sword up again. Get some light on. Hidden. Good. Oh, what's this? What's that? Oh, nothing. What are those things? Those collection plates, I think. Some bunny on them. Ooh. Rat poison. Deal with that, that for the time being. Is that a note? Day one. This is Scoot. If you're stumbling across this note or my body, just leave it. Maybe someone who knows me will find it. I fell down this sinkhole and broke both of my legs. Jeez. I'll be dead soon. Please feed my cats. Day two, not dead yet, and not alone either. Someone else fell down here before me. His name's Kevin, and he's some kind of part ranger. He knows all sorts about survival, showed me where to gather drinking water and moss that I could eat. We've been eating bugs too, need that protein. He said that 
people from his division will be searching this area any day now. Day 24, that was quite a leap, wasn't it? No one is coming, my leg has healed, but not in a good way. Kevin and I had, had tried to work together on splints, but the wood down here is too moist, just crumbles. I just spend my days crawling through the mud, eating bugs, drinking dirty water. I'm going to die down here. Uh, I think you are. Ah, oh, poor bastard. So, this is the rest of the church then. Okay, search the sunken church for signs of scoot. Optional, find all clues in the sunken church. Well, here's another little note. Day 82. Someone else fell in. His name is Mickey. We had some tremors, shifted the earth a lot. Mickey came trumbling through the sunlight. Mickey says crazy things, but I'm beginning to believe him. Said the world is shit, it's over. Said he's in a gang of chefs and keeps telling me there's only one way to survive and he'll teach me. I don't know how, how I feel about Mickey. Right, it sounds like Mickey is one of the gourmands, the, uh, the cannibal raiders. Day 90. Been thinking a lot about Ray and Laura. Laura, never got to visit their new place over in Welsh. God, I hope they're okay. Wish I got to tell Ray about me debunking the sheep squatch. But did he know something that I didn't? I can't get that thought out of my mind. And he, Ray is the guy we found in the wheelchair. We found his corpse in Reddy's terminal. And he was talking about the sheep squatch. And Laura had gone out to, uh, to look for supplies and had never come back. Uh, and he'd basically starved to death. Right, next one. Day 100, 200, 1000. Dear Lord, Mickey killed Kevin. He choked the life out of him while he was sleeping and said Kevin needed to die for us to live. I can't do this, someone help me. He said we had to. Then he said we, we. M Mickey made me e e. I'm so sorry. Please help me, I'm so sorry. Uh, right, so he's a cannibal now. I reckon we're going to get some ghoul action down here. Uh, and they might even be glowing ones. So I'm going to get into my bloody power armour again. Um, can I get into it down here? Thank goodness. Right, it is cheating. But never mind. Um, stop that. Put the light on. Crouch. We'll get furious up again. I can always gun bash if I need to. Glowing fungus. Take all that. Oh, it's really creepy down here. I'll take all these bones. Oh, and a lovely knife. Cultist dagger. I'll take that. New day. Kevin was weak. Mickey was weak. I am strong. I took all this strength from them. I see the daylight now. I don't want to leave. I don't need to. I will wait here, wait for a week to find wait for the week to find the way to me. I will consume this strength. I will become stronger. I will survive this world. Oh, loony. Right, crap. Right, I need me, um, me what's it? I knew it was going to be something horrible. Come on. Down. Oh, bloody hell. Right, he wasn't so bad. I hate Windingos, though. I hate them. Strengthened, studded, leather right leg. I wonder if... Look at his leg. Is that what he meant by it was... Oh, it's completed. Right, that was him. I wonder if that's a reference to his leg not healing properly. I've got a plan for a mounted wind dingo. Well, how wonderful. I shall enjoy that. God. Well, that was good. I enjoyed that. But that was it, was it? Nothing else to do. I thought it would be a glowing one, to be honest with you. 
I was sort of glad it was a Wendigo, actually. They, they are quite good enemies. Right. Well, that's enough of that. We've got to go and do the old Cheap Squatch quest now, because we've got to hunt him down. And I think we've got to go to Lewisburg Station and read a poster to start that quest. But that should be very exciting, very interesting. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy that adventure. Hope you'll come back for some more. And until I see you again, I shall say goodbye. Okay, cheerio.